Yeah. Well, there's some drivers who are really upset over what they believe is a sneaky behavior by the boot man. What the boot man is doing is completely legal. If you park and you don't pay in one downtown Albuquerque lot, he will boot your car. News 13's Kim Holland was there today as one driver whose car got booted took drastic and maybe illegal action. It may be the only Subway sandwich shop in Albuquerque without free parking. There are parking spaces next door, but you must pay. If you quickly run into the Subway for a sandwich and don't pay the fee, you'll probably come out to find the boot. It will cost you 50 bucks cash to get it off. Come on over here. This is my car right here. Come on over here. The Subway and the parking lot are owned by two different people. This is the boot man. He sits at the lot on Lomas between 5th and 6th streets, waiting for people who don't pay. Then he clamps on the boot. You make pretty good money at this, I would imagine. What the boot man is doing is legal. Earlier this month, we showed you how drivers have a problem with how he's doing it. Called to get the boot off, he's sitting just a few feet away, waiting to collect the cash. He's running a racket here. Jack Larson parked in the lot and ran into Subway for just a few minutes. He didn't pay the meter like he was supposed to or read the warning signs right in front of his car. So he got the boot. He was hiding, and he's still hiding. He's in the parking lot skulking about. And I'm going to go ahead and help myself out of this situation. And if he has a problem, he can sue me. Larson wasn't about to pay, so his buddy bought a bolt cutter and cut him loose. <laughs> And even as the boot man blocked the car in, Larson and his friends squeezed right out and got away. But the boot man may get the last laugh. He got the license plate Larson got away in and plans on filing a police report for criminal damage to property. Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. All right, the owner of that lot, a man named Ricardo Chavez, leases it to another person. He tells us he does not have a problem with the way the boot man clamps on those devices. Chavez says that's the only way to get some people to pay. And it does clearly say you have to pay two bucks to park there or whatever it is. And you know, this guy today parked right in front of that sign. Now, I think 50 people, bucks, I think they think they're taking a chance because they're just running in and right back out. And, and, wow. yeah. Bad chance. Oops. Not in that parking lot anyway. <laughs> you watch this show, you've seen about four of those yeah. stories. So You're warned. You're duly warned. Channel 13. <laughs> Let's show you what.